What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to cover isosceles triangles. So an isosceles triangle is just a special type of triangle that always has two sides that are the exact same length, right? So for example with this first one on the left you can see that this side and this side right here are the exact are the exact same length, right? And then this base right here is a different length, okay? And something else you should know is that they also have two angles that are the exact same angle. Okay, so in this case, this angle and this angle would be exactly the same. Okay, and then this other angle would be different, this double angle. Okay, and a couple other examples of isosceles triangles would be something like this, where this side and this side are the same, and then the base is different, right? And then this one's basically the opposite of this one because in this first one, the sides are really long. But in this one, the base is really long, okay? But that is not a big deal, okay? The main thing is that you have to have two sides that are the exact same length, okay? And in this case, the two angles that are the same would be this one and this one, okay? And then the different one would be this one up here, okay? And the last... Uh, kind of special case of an isosceles triangle is this right triangle okay and this is a special case not only because of the right angle but these angles right here are always known because this angle is always 45 degrees and so is this other angle right there okay and then the two similar sides would be this side and this side right there and then the different side would be this the hypotenuse basically right there now the perimeter of these triangles are well it's the same thing as finding the perimeter of any shape really you just add up all the sides together but we can specify it a little bit more just because we know two of the sides are the exact same length so if you wanted to find the perimeter or write down the formula for it it'd be the perimeter is equal to now this bottom side or the different side you can just call that the base and then we'll call each of the two sides. We'll just call this a side and we'll call this a side. Okay, so if you're going to add up all these sides together, you could rewrite it as the perimeter is equal to the base plus the side plus the side. Or simplifying it, you can write it as the perimeter is equal to the base plus two sides. Okay, and if you wanted to find the area of one of these triangles, it's the exact same area formula for any triangle, which would be area is equal to one-half times the base times the height, okay? Or you could write it as base times height divided by two. Both of these formulas right here will get you to the exact same answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.